We have been in lockdown for over 40 days and negotiating the complexities of changing levels. And right now, there is a lot of anger around. People have very different opinions about things, about the curfew, the wearing of masks, time allocated for exercise, the sale of cigarettes, and so on, and so on, and so on. And social media has become even more of a war zone than usual. So how do we stay calm, manage our anger when everyone's nerves are so frayed? I think, firstly, we need to recognize that it is understandable that we and others are angry. People are anxious about different things. When another person acts in a way that raises my fear level, it can elicit anger from me. So for example, if I'm afraid of getting sick and believe others wearing a mask and me protects us all, and I go out to exercise and I see people are not wearing masks, I may react in an angry way towards them. Stephen Covey offers us a helpful tool. He talks about our circle of influence and our circle of concern. The circle of concern involves the wide range of things which affect us, but we have no control over them. There are a lot of them right now, and that's why we're finding life stressful. It depletes our energy when we spend a disproportionate amount of time worrying and giving attention to things that are well beyond our control. Most of us cannot control the weather, when a vaccine will be found, or when these lockdown levels will change. We can't control the impact on the economy of this lockdown. We cannot control how others respond to the lockdown either. And if we focus on these things and keep venting about them, our stress levels will rise because we are operating too much in our circle of concern rather than in our circle of influence. So what about that circle of influence? This is everything in our life where we can have an impact or an effect. In my particular circle of people or expertise, I may have the power to do things that ultimately influence the bigger picture. And if I focus on doing my job well, that may have an effect wider than myself. Focusing on what I can do and influence means putting energy into the things that I know can bring about positivity. And these things in turn may indirectly have a positive impact beyond myself on others. And so we need to channel our energy so that it can be positive and fruitful. In our circle of influence, you can initiate and change things and act on them. And this helps us feel empowered and happier. So I can decide whether I pray or not, how I engage with my family, how I invest my resources to help others. I can write a letter to the government about my concerns or sign a petition. I can choose to exercise safely. I may be able to help my workplace think about new ways of doing things. And this is where most of my energy needs to go. This doesn't mean that we are inward looking. No, not at all. It means I invest the majority of my energy into doing things that I am able to do or that I can persuade other people who are close to me to do. And so when I expand my circle of influence and am creative within it, there will be a ripple effect on others. They will be encouraged to do the same in their circle of influence. And so we build a positive energy. There may be less anger flying around because we would feel less afraid and disempowered and more open to seeing the potential 
and where we can really make a difference. Think about where you spend your time and your energy, in your circle of concern or in your circle of influence. And how can you be proactive and invest time in your circle of influence so that you can build that positive energy, which in turn will have a good impact on the wider circle of concern.